center of gravity, and base of support. Have you ever wondered how we maintain balance while walking, running, or simply standing still? Our ability to maintain balance or stability is primarily dependent on the relationship between the body's center of gravity and its base of support. Let's dive into these two concepts. The center of gravity, COG. The center of gravity, COG, is a point in space where the entire body's mass behaves as if it is concentrated there. The center of gravity varies from person to person, but on average, when standing upright, it is located in the body midline in front of the lumbar vertebrae, L1, 2, 3. However, this point can shift depending on an individual's body shape, posture, and position. For instance, when you bend forward or backward, your center of gravity moves accordingly. The base of support, BOS. The body's base of support, BOS, refers to the area or part of the body that is in contact with the supporting surface, such as the ground or a floor. Were you to trace the outline of the body where it touches the ground, you would define the base of support. It is the foundation that provides stability and balance to the body when standing or performing various movements. For example, the wider the stance when standing, the larger the base of support becomes, whereas a narrow stance reduces the size of the base of support. This is why it's challenging to maintain weight distribution when standing with feet close together, as it requires keeping the center of gravity on a small support base. What happens when we lose balance? Losing balance occurs when the body's center of gravity moves outside the base of support, which significantly affects the ability to maintain balance. When this happens, two options arise, either falling to the ground or taking a step forward to increase the base of support. Low center of gravity versus high center of gravity. Another crucial factor influencing balance is the distance between your center of gravity and your base of support. The rule here is simple. The lower your center of gravity, the more stable you are. And conversely, the higher your center of gravity is, the less stable you are and the easier it is to topple over if pushed. Low center of gravity, sumo wrestler. In sumo wrestling, wrestlers purposefully lower their center of gravity by adopting a deep, wide-legged stance. This low center of gravity and increased base of support provide exceptional stability, making it incredibly challenging for opponents to push and topple them over during a match. High center of gravity, tiptoe balancing. When balancing on tiptoes, the center of gravity is much higher above the ground, making it prone to instability. Maintaining stability requires constant effort and control. Balancing on tiptoes vividly demonstrates how a high center of gravity increases instability and the risk of toppling over compared to a lower center of gravity stance.